Tutorial, Intelligent Tutorials. This is going to be a short tutorial on Windows 7 host file location. Let's start off with opening a couple programs. Go to your Windows Start button. Type in the search box CMD. Click Enter. Go to your Windows Start button again and then go to your search box and type Notepad. This time, right-click on Notepad. Then click on Run as Administrator. At this point, a user account control box may appear. You will have to click Yes to continue. Time to open the host file. Note that this is for a Windows 7 default installation. Click on File on your Notepad program, then click Open. This is the location of your host file. Note it if you like. But let's try and go to it from scratch. So click on Computer, then click on your C drive, then click on Windows, then click on System32, then click on Drivers. Then click on ETC. Now go down to the bottom here and click on all file types. Note that the host file does not have an extension, so that's why you'll have to click on all files. Click on your host file. Now click open. To edit this file, you can add an entry below this entry of 127.0.0.1 localhost. You may have this entry inactive as shown up here. I have it as active. Now let's have some fun. Let's try and add an entry here. To add an entry here, let's go over to our command prompt. Let's type in, let's, let's ping an address like Google. We see here that Google has an IP address of 74.125.224.128. Let's type that number in our host file. Now let's type in Google. Click Save. Okay, now we've just entered in this Google into our host file. What this means is it's going Google is going to refer to this IP address to pull up its website. You use this IP address to relate to the, to Google. Like um, Google, one of Google's servers uses this IP address, so this when you type in google.com into one of your internet browsers it will point to this IP address you see right here and look for this server now this already works automatically um, through the DNS uh, servers around the world and also the name servers that Google has um, but let me show you this real quick open your favorite internet browser and go to google.com. See, this looks normal. Google.com is pointed to the Google page. Now let's try something interesting. Go back to your notepad, and let's type, instead of google.com, let's type itorial.net. Now, click File, and click Save. Now go back to your browser and type in itorial.net. You see this is now forwarded to Google. Because we've put in our host file, itorial.net, 
0.274.125.224.128. Okay, that's that's neat. Let's try it the other way around though. So go back to your command prompt and ping itorial.net. See? You can see the 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 re ping reply number is 74.125.224.128 and that's what we have in our host file. But let's remove this entry now and click file save. Let's go back to our command prompt and ping itorial again. You'll see now that itorial is going to 66.116.198.111. That is itorial's correct IP address that's been assigned to them by their hosting provider. Now let's make it so when you type google.com to go to itorial.net. So let's type in itorial.net's IP address. Now it's very important to note it's you always have to have a space between the IP address and the host and the and the domain name. If you don't have a space, it won't work. So let's type in google.com. So we have itorial's IP address and then the google.com domain name. Now go to file and click save. Now let's go back over to our command prompt and ping google.com. You will see now that google.com is pointing at itorial.net's IP address of 66.116.198.1111. Now let's open our internet browser again and go to google.com click enter okay now it's still going to google it might be a cache issue let's try refreshing and there you go google.com looks like it's just been hacked but not really it's just because we've edited the host file Now some real issue. Uh, now some, uh, see that was just some fun with the host file. But some real things people use the host file for are when you're working on a website and you just set up a website, but you're working on it and you're in a hurry and you can't test it out because your DNS servers haven't propagated yet. So you would type in your your IP address of where your your website is hosted and then your domain name. And then you can work on your site right away because your host file on your computer will have the proper settings to point at the IP address of the server you want to work on. If your, site's, if your site was just registered, you just registered a domain name, and you go to that domain and you go to your, you know, your GoDaddy control panel and you put in your IP address information or your name server information, and then you try and go to your new domain name right away. It won't be ready right away because the DNS servers ar around the world haven't propagated yet. So you could type in the domain name all you want and it'll just have the GoDaddy register page for the next 24 or 48 hours. Um, sometimes it propagates faster, but in cases where it doesn't, the host file is awesome because you can type in the, the IP address of your server where your site is going to be hosted and then your domain name that you're using for your website. Before we end, please don't forget to delete this entry. We want to make sure when you go to google.com, you're actually going to google.com. Once you delete this entry, remember to go to File and click Save, and you should be good to go. All right, that's enough talking on this tutorial on, on host files, and I hope to see you guys on another tutorial soon. Thanks for watching.